and see. Subscribe on YouTube. Hey, hey everybody. everybody. Welcome to another episode of Trenny and C. I'm Trenny. This is C. We've got another amazing unboxing for you today yep. in the great outdoors. A perfect setting. Um, Minus the lawnmower that might catch up with us in a few minutes. But we've got an interesting bourbon here today. We have the I.W. Harper. Can you see it there? Look at that glass. It's cool, and it even says I.W. Harper on the side there in the embossing of the glass. So Let's crack this open and get them to hear a cork pop. Oh, yeah. Before this lawnmower comes right, back. Right, right, right. So this is 41%. Because after after the uncorking, what everyone wants to see, it's all gibberish. It's all crap. Here we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Lovely. Good. We got a cork pop out of it here. Nice natural color, as all bourbon is, which is pretty incredible. We were kind of talking today about how it's kind of cool that it's so dark because you never know if it's the uh, extra alligator char or age or, age like what, or what's what contributing. it is. Is this, is this an older, you know, non-age statement bourbon or is it just a heavy char? Yeah, and know. we have the um, IW Harbor 15, which is a real musty, dusty bourbon that we quite like. Yeah, uh, sure. But not knowing the age on this, it leaves some mystery. And at 41%, it's just a titch over yeah, you know, the Yeah, it's just got like a little edge. It's like the, the photo finish kind of right. thing. Like this, for the win. This one for the wins comes in at 41%. Right, so let's, uh, let's, let's get to nose. the nose here. We've been dancing around buying this bottle for a year. Yeah, and it's sat on the shelves for a long time, but we know we like IW Harper, so why not? Um, because it's 50 bucks. It's 50 bucks, yeah, it's pretty expensive. Let's pause for a second here. And here comes your son. Hey, buddy. Should I stop it? Sure. What's going on, pal? Where, where were you then? We had a quick uh, pause there, uh, commercial interruption because we had a lawnmower and then my, my kid came up here and yeah. interrupted us. So, <clears throat> so let's get to the nose on this before we get a couple more interruptions. Inter interruptions. Mm. Not introductions. Introductions. Well, <laughs> that works. Interruptions. So it's got a very bright nose to it it is it's, it's so far on first sniff it's not as musty dusty <clears throat> as no, the other I'm, one i'm getting like a citrus kind of thing off of it and spice yeah it's really pretty good for 41 percent. i mean that's yeah. a soft bourbon in reality the percentage usually yeah i'm getting a bit of a medicinal kind of characteristic off it as well so it's like medicinal spicy kind mm -hmm. of some citrus it's a kind of herbal, really. Yeah, there's a herbal note to it for sure. And there is, a, maybe it is a, a darker char kind of wood note to yeah. it. I don't know, it's kind of peppery even, like. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting, and like, I mean, the sugars and the honeys are all there. I think that a lot of I.W. Harper is um, exported. I guess oh, it's, okay. it's kind of, I.W. Harper is kind of a big export brand. And that's why you don't see it that often. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Good nose. It's, it seems like something that we're going to have to explore further and deeper. I think you could spend some time on there. It's mm. really, it's it's soft, but it's, it's got it's, some, it's, it lets you know it's there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, should we take a sip? Maybe this is one of those situations where we got to leave it up to the, you know, the distiller and blender to pick what the percentage is at. That's right. Maybe they know what they're doing. Perfect. Yeah, they might have tinkered with it a few times. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's try it. Mmm. Honestly, it's a mustier taste than I was expecting. It's like, it's got a soft arrival, but then it has a very um, tingly presence. Mm -hmm. There's like some, I don't know if, if it's specifically a rye thing, but there is a, a bit of spice in the center there. It's not it's like bubble like, gum or anything like that, but. It's more like, um. I don't know, like a chili spice or something. Yeah, know, maybe like, that's what it is. But it, it like, it shows up very like sweet. It's yeah, it's it's nice right up front. And I don't the think the fifteen was that sweet. This is sweeter, I think, than the fifteen. Mm -hmm. But I can still. It does reminisce of the characteristics of the I W Harper. You know, there there is a house style there, but mm. this has a bit, like you say, a sweeter arrival. I think there's a lit 
gentle bit of oaky char on the back end too. And it's like quite drying and musty on the finish more than anything I'd say. I think we might have to take another commercial break here for lawnmower. -age. Here comes the lawnmower. Thanks a lot. The guy's doing a path. He's doing loops. Yeah. Now he's just getting closer. <sighs> well, we can keep talking during this because like there might be some gold. Whatever. Or not. <laughs> Probably not. Or you can't hear it at all. But here it comes. We might not be able to hear. We not, might not be able to hear anything. Like yeah. enough talking. Chance to get to the door to the mm. Go back to the nose, too. Oh, I kind of like it. The lemon thing. That citrus, right? Yeah. Excuse me. Not that. I actually kind of really like the nose. Ooh. Actually, honestly, after the tasting it, I like the nose more now. Yeah. Do you know what? There's like this, uh... Are you actually back to doing yeah, the nose now? Yeah, okay. why <laughs> um, Going back to the nose, there is seriously like a, a lemon liqueurish type of nose to it, like a lemon cello kind of I was going to say lemon cello, yeah. And I didn't get that right away, but after tasting it and realizing that the, the taste has a little bit of that like chili heat, like you said, and then coming back to the nose, it's, that's where the brightness it's happens. It's gotten more sizzle on the nose than you would normally catch from a 41% bourbon. And we have to keep in mind we're outside and the wind's blowing a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes you don't get as good of a nose when you're outdoors, but... I guess his laps are getting shorter. He's working the inside of the laps. Yeah. Poorly timed. You, you can't redo an unboxing. No, we're just going with it. He has no idea how much he's annoying us right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, like just doing a good job yeah, keeping the neighborhood looking good. And like accidentally just pissing us and off. And just in like, reality like, you crazy? Come on, man. It's 2.30 in the afternoon here. Yeah, what are you, <laughs> the hell are you doing? It's in, it's in working hours, damn it. Oh my God. Okay, he's on the uh, back stretch here, so I think we can go again. Getting back to it, I am surprised by the, you hit the nail on the head in the beginning, like. The citrus. There is like a lemon zest kind of a, like when you squeeze just the, the skin mm -hmm. and it like the little oils come out. Mm -hmm. A little burst. Yeah, love it. Okay, let's get to the flavor again. Mm -hmm. For 41%, it's pretty big. I think overall, I really like it. I think we got to wrap this up pretty quick. I think he's gearing up. <laughs> just, I think he's turning the rat. He's going from the, the, the tortoise to the hare right now. He hates <laughs> I.W. Harper. He hates whiskey reviews. He hates whiskey. Yeah. Well, it's an unboxing and we can't do it again, so. No. Whatever. <laughs> Somebody else's kid yelling now. Damn it. We we picked the most secluded part of the yard. Yeah. And got the worst possible outcome. Yeah. It's this is why we do reviews in the Training C studios where there's less of a chance of us getting involved in anyone it's else's controlled life. Controlled environment. Yeah. Right controlled. Now, we things, don't have to talk to anyone else. Things are out of control over there's here. There's very right now. minimal interactions. It's like you buy a bourbon you've waited a year to try, and you can't <laughs> fucking even think. No. 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 <laughs> All I know is this has uh, exceeded my expectations personally. Yeah, no, it's really good. I may, I really like. I the may nose. pull back on that comment one day, but yeah. right now it's better than I was expecting. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's these. Thank you. Subscribe, leave a comment, and like it. See you next time. Cheers. I said cheers.